now you can hear the rustle from the crowd as perhaps the most recognizable vehicle here outside of that leopard battle tank. It's last 707. April Rose introduced it to us. It's one of our fantasy cars. It's a 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. The last one registered personally to the great star, Burt Reynolds. Well, the Trans Am wasn't just a car that was used in the movie Smokey and the Bandit. It was really one of the characters in the movie. And when you long since have forgotten everything else about the movie, you're absolutely going to remember this particular body style. Of course, the interesting thing about it is the fact that in the movie itself, they didn't really use 1977 Firebirds because they hadn't been produced yet. So what they did was they actually used the front clip, the front nose from the car that was about to come out and grafted it onto a 1976 Firebird so they had the same look. So this one isn't the screen used Trans Am from the film. Who knows what that would bring, but it is the correct spec. The special edition, you can see the gold inside with the uh, trim, the engine turn finish, the pinstripes everywhere, the Greek lettering. They added the CV radio and the antenna there, and this one is special because it is the last one that was registered and owned by Burt Reynolds. He owned several. I think he got some from the film, and then several cars since, but this was the last one. Tagged it registered in his name, and has just popped $200,000. Wow. Well, once again, it's a popular car. I mean, this is one of the most popular cars of the late 70s. This particular body style, this particular paint scheme, that gold and black. And then have the fact that it was owned by Burt Reynolds, the guy who made this car popular. And I absolutely love the fact that they have the CB antenna mounted on the roof right here. And when you look inside, look on the, the center console, there you see the CB radio. He's bound him down. This one sells. $220,000 worth. Look at that crowd on the stage. And titled in his name. Now it's been restored to be screen accurate with the movie. And it has a special edition package. You got all the gold trim and pinstriping, the Greek trans and lettering, and of course, the T-tops, CB radio and antenna. I'm just calling it right now, the new owner better have that Burt Reynolds mustache because you would look so good in this. Well, speaking of that, Bob, I think you would look good in one of those thick Reynolds mustaches, right? Uh, ish. 